back for part two of the WG 3526P outdoor build. We're outside, it's cold, the tower's way above the trees, so it's perfect conditions to test our outdoor setup. Now this is laying on its side. Obviously, the perfect conditions for testing are to be held up, right? However, it's super cold, super windy. It's probably gonna fall over. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. We're at a CSQ of 30, 96% signal strength. Our SSI of 50 is perfect. We're locked on to band four and aggregating on two. My goal was 100, way over 100 for the first test. Still doing four and two. Not, not too shabby for two bands. Got to run it back. Because the only way for the test to be real is to run a hundred twice. It's cold. It's a hundred down. I'm shivering and we got 40 up. We've tested it. You saw what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna show you how to build it. So we got our board. We got four screws that we removed from the board and four tiny PCB mounts. These are low profile. onto the nitty gritty. There are four screws that we took off the enclosure to loosen the board. I'm gonna put all four screws back, but instead of using the metal enclosure, we're gonna use the low profile PCB mounts, which we got from LTE Fix. Now four is overkill. I mean, it's gonna go on an enclosure and it's gonna be outside. It will face a little bit of heat, so why not? This is a small parts kit that comes with the medium LTE fix outdoor enclosure. You got four 3M double-sided tape. Then it comes with four Phillips screws. I'm gonna use the four Phillips screws with the 3.0 USB enclosure. So you need to remove the modem in order to access one of your Phillips holes. So we got one, two, three, four. When this goes into the enclosure, it doesn't matter what kind of storm you get, that modem is secure. One thing we gotta discuss is proper cooling. The most important thing you wanna do, always have your heat sink wherever needed. If you look at the board, for the 3526, there's heat sinks wherever any important part is. Let's move on to part two, the most important part, your mock-up. In part one, if you recall, I had the arrow pointing down. I'm gonna show you why. Let's choose where we're gonna mount our USB 3.0 enclosure relative to the four pigtails. As you can see, it's gonna reach no matter where we position 
our 3.0 enclosure. Now, is the SIM card going to reach? If you look at the orientation, the slit goes in first. So, this is an old school trick back from the iPhone 4 days when we needed to unlock the phone. You'd step on the SIM card in order to get it in. There you go. Now we do still have Wi-Fi antennas, which do serve a purpose, even, even though it's gonna be mounted outside. If you have it on top of an RV, these provide a great deal of Wi-Fi coverage inside and throughout the area. So we definitely wanna retain that. Now, once you got your mental picture, how you want to mount this, be very critical because once you apply that 3M tape, there's no help getting it off. That's a good spot right there. Now, in a previous video, I told you how to plug in your MHF4 connector. Now it's a little tougher once the heat sinks on. You wanna position your antennas in retrospect to your pigtails. Every time, if you watch my video, you'll get it every time, first time. Every time. Now it does help when the pigtails you've ordered are from the best in the industry. That's a perfect spot for the modem. You got plenty of play with the SIM card tray. Um, USB 3.0 cables got plenty of room. So now we got a mental picture of how we want to mount things. So what I want to do is we're going to put the 5G antennas here. 5.8G Wi-Fi and your 2.4 Wi-Fi on this side. And there you have it. Ready to test. So we've reached the point of uh, testing our setup here. Got a little nano sim adapter. Now in part one, I mentioned to put the arrow pointing down. That's the reason why I said you want the arrow pointing down because it gives you the picture of how it's supposed to be inserted. Now these little metal, the metal nano sim adapters, obviously I got them from LTE Fix. So what I do is just pop your nano sim right there and then push it on back. So we got our 48 volt PoE from LTE fix. You want power out 
to go to your enclosure, you want data in to go to your laptop or other router. When testing your setup, keep it simple. Do it while it's wired.